Good morning all. My name is Sarah. I'm the Real Simple Mama. I'm out here with some lazy birds. We're in the shade and I have something I wanted to talk to everybody about if you've got backyard chickens, a smaller flock or a larger flock and namely we're going to talk about just some thoughts as your flock changes. So good morning. We've got like acrobat chickens going on here. There have been some changes to my flock in the last few months and it's something that it's pretty much going to be inevitable for anybody who's got backyard chickens. This is going to be, I'm going to try to make this an educational video, <laughs> but it's more just, we're just going to, to sit out here with the girls and talk about just philosophically kind of what your goals are for your flock and just some things to keep in mind. We all, of course, we love our pets. You wouldn't be here on my chicken YouTube channel unless you actually like cared about your chickens. So we are going to be talking about the sentimental value of your birds. But what I'm talking about is just for you to start thinking in the back of your mind and kind of having a plan as your flock gets older. Because you have a couple of different options, but it's the kind of thing that, you know, we, we do the best that we can. We're working, we're raising families, we're doing all these different things. But your flock continues to age. And so I have a few different thoughts as your flock changes, as they start to get older, just for you to keep in the back of your mind. Of course, you're going to pick and choose my suggestions, my ideas for what works with your little flock. But I'm going to go over here and sit in the chair. I was checking on the misters. Everybody's hanging out. It's nice and cool over here. Now, you know what? We're going to come sit over here. So when I first got chickens five years ago, they were all, of course, chicks. They were just a couple of days old. And since then, I have gotten more chickens quite a few times. But inevitably, your chickens are going to age. And that's the main thing that, that we're talking about. Now, I do have content about some things you need to adjust and that you need to consider. Just, yes considerations as your flock gets older just things to help you know as their bodies are getting older they're not going to be laying as many eggs you know they're not going to be as nimble things like that but you need to kind of start thinking whether it's I want to integrate new birds or I'm just going to kind of let my flock just pass away as they age and then that's it I'm not going to get any more chickens if I am going to get more chickens how many should I get and when should I integrate them should I try to add baby chicks all of these different things so my suggestions for you because I'm hopefully going to be getting some more chickens in the next few months is I like to have chickens of different ages me personally so I have only six right now I have six and of the six, I know for sure two of them are at least five years old. They're probably closer to six years old. I have one who's in the middle. She's probably about three. And then I have three girls who are about a year old. That's one of my Java's walking over there in your shot. So I keep the different ages for a couple of different reasons. Number one, and this sounds a little morbid, but it's because I don't want all of my chickens, um, probably dying within the, the same six months. Um, if, and of course, if you're not pushing your chickens to lay a ton of eggs, if they have a nice relaxed life, then they can live five, 10 years. They're not going to be producing as many eggs that entire time, right? It, that's going to slow down each year as they age. But for me, it would be devastating if all of my chickens were the same age. And so they all ended up passing away within like six months of each other. I have unfortunately lost two of my Easter eggers, Blue and her sister Flopsy. Flopsy passed away in January and Blue passed away just a few days ago. So I lost two chickens within four months and that was, that was absolutely terrible. Especially if you're like me and we get connected to our chickens. And I have Carmen Hen Diego hanging out over here behind the hibiscus. Tick, 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 tick. So I like to stagger the ages of my chickens. I know that's not always possible, but I like doing that. And it's not only just because, you know, I don't want them to all die at the same time as crude as that is. But the other thing is, as your chickens age, like I mentioned a minute ago, as your chickens age, we're going to zoom in here, they don't lay as many eggs. So if I had all of my flock was now getting older, right? All of my flock is five, six years old. To be honest, I've got to keep feeding all of these guys, but they're not going to be laying that many eggs. So if you can integrate some younger birds in, then at least you still have a steady flow of eggs. And then you can let some of your girls <clears throat> gracefully age. And you've got the younger ones coming up who can now take over, you know, the burden of like, you know, providing the eggs for your family and that kind of thing. So that's one thing to think about. It is possible though, that when you lose your birds, when you lose your chickens, that 
it's just so heartbreaking that you're like, you know what, I'm just going to either rehome the rest that I have or I'm just going to kind of say that I'm done and I don't want to do chickens anymore. And if you choose to do that, it's totally okay. It's whatever works with your family and works with your heart. You know, for me, I've spent so much time and energy and money <laughs> here in this chicken run. You know, I, I don't want to be without chickens, at least not now. So because I've lost two girls, I'm down to six. Yes, I am looking at integrating some new girls here and I am going to look for younger chickens. This is what I look for when I'm integrating new ones. I look for, for me, I need chickens who are fully feathered. So they're probably going to be at least 16 weeks of age, depending on the breed. They might be closer to 20, 24 weeks, but I personally want them fully feathered because that means they can stay out here in a coop. Um, I don't have the time right now to deal with baby chicks and a brooder and like, you know, a separate living space and all of that. But I want chickens who have already proven that they're laying eggs. They've already kind of figured out that they've got the kinks out of their system and they are laying. Now, I will still have to do my full quarantine of integrating new birds. You can see that video here. For me, I do it to protect my existing flock and I do it to protect the new chickens that are coming in. I just don't want anybody getting any diseases. It's a lot gentler. It's a lot better as far as establishing pecking order. Um, it's not as much of a shock to everybody's system. Right, girls? So... I do integrate multiple birds at the same time and I do quarantine them. Uh, excuse me, you're not supposed to go under there. Oh my gosh. See, this is Carmen Han Diego. Yeah, now you're gonna get in the Bougainvillea, you little creep. Jeez. That for me is helping me to stagger the ages of everybody. So I don't have, you know, all senior hens at the same time. You know, I've joked before that I was running like a chicken nursing home for a little while, like this retirement center for these hens. Um, you know, I do want younger chickens. I do want somebody laying eggs. Geez, if I'm buying the food and everything else, you know, someone needs to be pooping out breakfast for me. As your flock changes, and by changes, I really mean as your flock ages and as you lose some of your birds, I just want you to, I, I don't know, I make these videos sometimes where it's kind of just like, hey, here's Here's this little thing for you to think about and hopefully you're not having to do anything like an emergency situation right now but it is something for you to think about as my flock starts you know if I if I lose a couple of different birds what do I plan on doing do I plan on integrating new chickens if so what kind of breeds do I want let me think about what age I want do I have time to have new chicks and have like a grow out pen plenty of people do that right they've got different chicken coops in different areas for chickens of different ages or here's the broody hen over here in one zone with her baby chicks and then I have the teenagers in another separate area and then the adult chickens are over here if you have the time and the energy and the space just I just want you thinking about these different things but you need to keep in mind as your flock changes like I said there are going to be different needs as your chickens age. It, like I, it, it could even be like you you change the the makeup of their food because older hens don't need as much calcium and stuff when they're not laying anymore. Um, so there's all kinds of little things to keep in mind. I'm sorry, it suddenly got really loud out here. But as your flock ages, as your flock changes, just kind of be thinking of what works best for you, what works best for the rest of your flock. Would it be better for you to rehome everybody? Would it be better for you to get a whole bunch of new chickens? What are you choosing to do? Because I'm sort of in that, that funny flock transition period right now. I've got six. I would like to have more. I'm allowed to have more. But I need to have younger chickens that I'm going to integrate. And of course, the price has to be right. The timing has to be right. Lots of different things to think about, but put down in the comments, you know, if you've had chickens for a long time, how do you kind of view this as you know, like, all right, I've got some, some chickens that are getting really over the hill. Like, what do you do? Do you kind of wait until you've lost some in number, some have passed away and then you do something? Do you, you know, choose to start integrating early to be more proactive? Like, what is your philosophy as far as, you know, your changing flock? And as, as always, here's my email address. You are welcome to email me with questions or, you know, photos. If you've got any kind of chicken issues, I try to respond. I almost always respond within 12 hours just to try to help out. But this is one of those conversational videos where it's just, just a little thing for you to think about, for you to start <laughs> figuring out what it is that you would like to do as you continue your journey as a chicken tender. So thanks for watching.